about Sable International. Let's see. These are an international security firm, usually hired by governments to end revolutions. Or start them. The last thing we need is a city full of trigger-happy mercenaries. Social media is blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. No. This is Norman Osborne feeling threatened. Take that will do, woman! I know I did your job for you, but no need to pay me. Action is my reward. Available units need response to a break-in. Incident is ongoing near Union Square. Please copy. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. It might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there.
I heard the deputy mayor was brainwashed. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. This one. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe anymore. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Huh. Never seen that room before. Voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him.
This looks like that puzzle lock. That seems right. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Creepy. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Okay, through the floor grate. Lee was keeping tabs on Wilson Fisk, too. Trying to predict when he'd fall. Now, how do I get out of here? Peter. 
Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Yes, I can stop by. Just for a minute. Another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff.
Hmm. What was Doc working on with this? Beautiful. Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Hydrogel IPN. This looks promising. Bet it'd be a great tissue interface. Hmm. What was Doc working on with this? Great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. Doc was testing the biocompatibility of graphene.
Not great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. Doc's messing around with superconductors.
very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Some kind of polymer. This is awesome. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. 
Uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let me let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. I missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. I can't believe I've never tried that. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. 
Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ha! Ah, kidding, of course. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. Hey, sorry I missed your call. Are you still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. The offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. That shot. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Nice to see you, dude. Ooh, do the hand thing. Those guys are already breaking. I better stop the entry. Man, fist goes away and suddenly it's amateur hour. This is gonna hurt. This ain't even fair. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Not bombing the city. Ah! 
Glad I was here. Demons were gonna overwhelm those saber agents. Just backing you up, sport. Peter! You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Need to get this guy out of my way. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We built a new deal for Lee, and he finances the boss's new venture. Win-win. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy Yo, well. Boss sees that in his Need to get into that office. So what's the boss doing with the money from this Lee job? You tried what it are they yet? building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. What's going on over there? Easy does it. I swear I heard something. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. I saw something. Gonna check it out. Grave dust is messing with my head. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? What is this? Some kind of military hardware?
Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? Someone there. Wait. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. <gasps> won't notice? <gasps> Cousin won't be there! Stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such a disappointment. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this office. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never going to let me live that one down, are you? Nope. The Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like, a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again.
Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait, you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just a couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners. Sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. <laughs>